Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name's Chris Story. I'm a photographer, ski instructor, ski technician and dog photographer living in the southwest of France. Today we're about to start a shoot with um, a lovely uh, border collie called Meg and I thought I'd make a little video about our journey with Meg around this beautiful lake which is in a, a commune called Lausanne in the southwest of France. So today I'm going to be using the 7200 S Pro lens with the S52 camera and on the other S52 camera we've got the S Pro 24 to 70. So let's get into it. We'll show you some of the pictures at the end of the video and let's go. <laughs> Woof. So here we are, finished the shoot. It started raining quite heavily towards the back end, but we're nice and dry again. Oh, here comes the rain again. Very quickly, I just used the 70 to 200 lens on this shoot with the lovely Meg, the Border Collie. So now it's time to get back to the studio, have a look at what we've got, and we'll show you when we get there. So let's go, people. <laughs> and we've got sound and vision, have we? Right, well, great stuff, we're on. So welcome back everybody, we've made it back home, uh, out of the rain and the cold, we're showered, changed and all refreshed, ready now to get the SD card out of the uh, camera and into the Mac Studio to have a look at what we've captured. Before I do that though, please remember if you're interested in more of my videos, please uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video and of course press the bell for any future notifications about new and interesting videos about photography and skiing. What a combination. Anyway. Let's go get the SD card out of the camera and into the Mac Studio. Here we go, alrighty. Okay, so we are inside Photo Mechanic. So Photo Mechanic is the software I use to cull all of my photo shoots. Um, I just find it a lot quicker. You can work through each image really, really quickly. And I choose to cull by deciding which ones I don't want to keep. I'll generally do two culls, especially for weddings. Uh, I don't think I'll do two for, for this particular shoot. Um, but I'm going to go through these pictures. I'm going to get rid of the ones I don't want to keep. And then we'll see what we've got left at the end. So I'm going to speed this process up now. You guys don't need to sit here and watch me do this for the next 15 or 20 minutes. So I'll see you when we've got the final set of images together ready to export out. Okay, so here we have the uh, final images, the ones that I'm going to keep uh, to work on anyway. Uh, I'm not saying these are going to be the, the final images, but these are the ones that we've called out, that we think are in focus, that we think we can do something with potentially, and that we think the client's going to like. So I'm going to now um, just quickly run through these again, and then we will get everything exported out. Um, we're going to run these through some DxO software to uh, denoise, to rectify um, any curvature from the lenses, all that kind of jazz. And then we should have some really sharp, nice looking images to put into Lightroom to then start editing in Lightrooms and Photoshop. So I'll see you in Lightrooms. <laughs> Hello.
Hello again everybody, so uh, here we are, all the images have been put through DxO and are now in Lightrooms. I've already gone through and rejected some more of these images which I'm now going to remove from the screen. And these are the ones we've got left. Now you may notice that, um, I don't know if you'd noticed this image earlier, had the owner stood here and my wife's hand sticking out with an Osmo Pocket 3 here. I've managed to remove them um, with the AI remove tool in Photoshop and it's okay. I'm not 100% happy with it, but it, it's now an image I can work with. So anyway, I'm not going to go through the whole editing process of these images, um, but I have sent these um, to the client and she's chosen four pictures that she wants me to edit. Um, I have gone through Photoshop, I have edited the pictures in Photoshop and I have to give a big thanks to um, a channel I follow called um, That Tog Spot. Um, they have some great uh, videos on um, editing dog photography. They also have um, a paid for um, archive that you can go into on their website and you can see loads of real time full length um, editing tutorials which have been really useful to me so i definitely give those guys a look up if you want to bring your editing to the next level in um, photoshop for dogs so um so the final images we have um, i'm going to find them and i will show you them right now so here we are guys here are the final images I'll just turn the music off. Um, so I use a um, online digital gallery um, called Shootproof for all of my weddings and any photo shoots I do where I need to deliver images to clients. They all go into Shootproof. So these are the final four images. Uh, we've given them a real autumnal orange um, look. Uh, this was the picture that originally had um, the client stood here and my wife was here. Um, so I'm quite pleased with this picture. Meg's eyes are nice and in focus. Some nice little catch lights in there, happy with those. Um, this one, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. There's some work I could have done to get rid of this kind of stuff here, but I did have a go at it and it made it look really messy, so I thought it was best just to leave that in for now. Client's very happy with the pictures. Again, we've got some uh, nice catch lights on Meg here. If I'm gonna be really critical of myself, I maybe would have lightened her up a little bit down this side. She looks a little bit flat. So um, we have a nice image here of Katie with Meg. A nice uh, look at the love in the dog's face. She's so lovely. And they love each other, obviously. And the final image is there just Meg. She was stood on the tree stump at this point. It's a nice picture. I've maybe over egged it slightly with the catch lights. So there you go, the final images. So in conclusion, what did I learn? Well, I learned that dogs move quickly and quite erratically. So you need to get your autofocus settings completely dialed in and you're never ever gonna get 100% hit rate on dogs, especially when they're moving. Now I don't have my uh, autofocus settings quite dialed in yet. I have made some adjustments after this particular shoot and I have some more uh, photo shoots coming up in the next couple of weeks. So we'll see how the camera uh, performs with the new settings and uh, if it does what I think it's going to do which is to get a higher hit rate then I'll maybe make a video and share the settings with you then. Um, I would say one setting to be aware of is dogs in motion. You need at least 1250th of a second shutter speed as an absolute minimum to get uh, nice crisp pictures. Um, another thing I love this lens. This is the uh, Lumix S Pro 70 to 200. It was brilliant on the day. I think the pictures are really, really good. It's just a great zoom lens for dog photography. So um, I have used other lenses. I used the 24 to 70 as well. However, I prefer after doing this shoot to stick with the 70 to 200 for now anyway. So just my opinion. And editing, editing, you could do it really quickly if you wanted, but the, you can get really in depth into the editing of, of dog photography. Um, I'm on a big learning curve at the moment with it. Um, so I will share some of the images from the shoots I've got in the next couple of weeks as well. 
and hopefully we'll see an improvement in how I edit and the uh, end results for my clients. Um, the clients um, I'm shooting in the next few weeks, I'm doing all the shoots for free, nobody's paying for anything because this for me is a new journey. I'm a wedding photographer by trade and shooting dogs is a little bit different. It's as much fun, but different. So there you go, thanks for watching. Please uh, you know, like the channel, subscribe, ding the bell, all that kind of stuff if you want to see any of the more future videos I'm gonna make um, on my dog photography journey. And yeah, thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao for now and see you next time. Thank you.